Magandang umaga po mga Tarlacenos. Welcome muli sa ating ikalawang kapehan sa Tarlac. Una sa lahat, gusto kong batiin ang ating mga nanay ng belated Happy Mother's Day. Sana po ay naging espesyal ang inyong araw ng linggo. Pero kung hindi pa po kayo nagsiselebrate, sumubaybay lamang po dahil may supresa kami inihanda para sa inyo. Nais ko rin pong batiin ang ating mga kababayang Muslim ng isang maligayang Eid el Fitr. Kahit na po holiday ngayon, pinapaalalahanan ko po na sana ang lahat ay uh, kung maaari manatili lamang sa kanilang mga tahanan. Maraming salamat po sa mga sumama sa atin muli sa live kapehan. Paalala lang po na huwag kalimutan i-share ang live stream na ito at mag-comment sa baba ng mga katanungan ninyo para sa ating guest. Ipiliin po natin ang winners ng ating contest 10 minutes po bago matapos ang live. Kaya naman, share and comment na, Tarlacenos. Our today's guest, I am very, very excited. She used to be my uh, colleague in the 15th and 16th Congress. None other than the very beautiful and industrious Kong Lucy Torrig Gomez. She is a member of the 18th Congress and represents the 4th District of Leyte. She is a veteran lawmaker who has achieved much success in policy and legislation and on the ground projects both nationally and locally. She currently chairs the Committee on Disaster Resilience, which under her leadership has passed an impressive number of critical bills, and among them is the creation of the Department of Disaster Resilience and the establishment of a standardized evacuation center for every municipality and city in the country. She's an, an advocate of women's and family welfare, countryside development industries, such as tourism, and an outspoken supporter for national peace and unity. Let us all welcome po ang napakaganda at napakasipag Congresswoman Lucy Torres Gomez. Hi, Gov Susan. Good morning. And to everyone listening to your program, thank you for having me. And it's so nice to see you. <laughs> so nice to see you. I'm very, very happy and I'm glad to see you. I miss you so much. It's been a while no, since we've had our face-to-face. -face. But thank you. And I'm sure lahat ng mga Tarlacenos excited to see you too. Oh, hindi kasi alam ng marami na kami ni Gov Susan and two other colleagues of ours, we have regular... We used to have regular dinners before the pandemic happened, no? Yeah. Uh, dati, mas nakikita tayo kasi magkasama tayo sa Congress. But when Gov. Susan moved on na to, to the executive uh, level, we, we've managed to keep in touch. But buti na lang may Zoom and buti na lang we have today. So, <laughs> thank you for having me. Thank you. Yes, Lucy. Oh, how is it in Congress now? How, how do you do your um, committee hearings? When you're all the way in late, actually, it's actually more productive, ha. It's sad because wala tayong ano, para tayong isla. <laughs> uh, we don't <laughs> we don't have the usual. Kasi di ba we always say na yung Congress natin before para siyang classroom, and then every day nakikita mo classmates mo, and you develop this this fellowship. Yun ang nawala. But in terms of productivity sa work. Tuloy, tuloy. Actually, mas marami pa nga eh. Kasi mas marami kang na-accommodate na meetings in one day. Kasi wala kang, you're rooted in one chair, one spot, and you can have endless meetings until, until ano. Wala na ng oras kahit gabi may Sabay-sabay yung Zoom. Oo, sabay-sabay yung, sabay-sabay. That's sabay. true. Mm -mm. So, you, ano, you, you make yeah. the so you with what you have. Make the best out of a situation. Yeah. Congratulations, no? And um, thank you, Antarlak, ay isang recipient ng iyong uh, evacuation center from the committee. And um, I'd like to share also that Tarlac has been a Hall of Famer as the best response team nationally uh, for three years in a row. So, sa samin ang disaster. Nakita ko yung facility that you, ano, that you built there. I, I don't know where we saw it last in, in some committee meeting or somebody showed it to me in a private function it's impressive and 
Um, I'm very proud of you and all the lovely work that you're doing. You've always been a good legislator, naman, but you've really shown also as um, as a chief executive. Thank you. I know you. I know you asked me eh, um, two days before you texted, which one do I prefer, executive or legislative? Yes. Uh -oh. <laughs> huh? Ah, so, ano ba? What's your answer, ba? Rewarding to be in the executive level, because you're closer to the people, no? Mas mabilis mong na address yung concerns nila. While, syempre, in the legislative, national ang thinking mo, mas uh, policy making. But any policies that Congress does, of course, kami yung magi implement dito sa baba. Matrabaho, pero rewarding in, in its own sense, yes. Oh, I, I can. It's a maybe it's a very happy kind of tired. It's like motherhood. Para karin talaga ng nanay ng ng tarlake, wala kang day off. <laughs> Yaka talaga ng day off, and you've always True. been a holic, na even in even in in Congress before. More so, siguro now. Baka gabi na hindi mo alam gabi na. Ganon ka dati eh. Yes. <laughs> Yes. Uh, let's talk about your family and it's being a mother, Lucy. Since uh, it's a Mother's Day special. Yes. Yes. Um, your mother to lovely Juliana. No longer a teenager, si Juliana. <laughs> yes, and she's joined us in some of our dinners. So you you've seen her also, and you've seen her grow up also. And um, yeah, she's twenty already. Can you believe? I'm I'm thankful na lang that with this pandemic. Uh, a silver lining has been the fact that I've been able to spend so much time with Juliana and then the three of us also, our little family of three, uh, we've been able to make up for lost time. Because before the pandemic, we were Juliana in Manila mostly and then Richard would only see over the weekend. But now, since March of last year, 24-7, we were together. At some point, we were just one quarto lang kaming tatlo. So it's been a no, it's been a nice time to make memories. I'd like to think of it that way. Yes. Oh. So how was it bring her up? No. Did she go through that puberty teenage? <laughs> na some. But Juliana so witty and happy, eh, no? Yeah, she's always been an an easy child. I mean, pinaka worry ko lang when nag pandemic is all of a sudden she would be uprooted from Manila and her friends. And have to wing it really in our mock. Before, because we were just going here for extended vacations like Christmas break or or summer breaks at school, no. But all of a sudden, this endless time in the province. But thankfully, she has really she has really embraced the provincial life. Provincial, ang provincial, na nasa her Bisaya is more fluent than than ever, and. Di siya bored because she trains every day for for fencing and then uh, one way of her to cope during the pandemic was she was always baking, baking, baking every day. She started with cookies and then graduated to bread, and yeah. So between uh, between a daughter who can bake and a husband That's who can, I'm a happy what? I'm a happy wife and mother. Hindi ako nagugutom. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how, how about pag meron yung mga nanliligaw? How is uh, Lucy as a mother to the suitors of Juliana? I'm actually very, I know, I'm actually very um, understanding. I know that falling in love and meeting people is a beautiful part of youth. And I would want her to experience that. I always tell her, uh, wag, wag seryoso agad because yung una mong makikilala at yung una mong ma in laban not necessarily yun na yun eh and uh, tinuturo ko rin talaga sa kanya gob susan <laughs> yung yung choice ng partner hindi yun iniiwan sa tadhana dapat hinihingi yun ng hinihingi yun sa dios at talagang pinag um uh, pinagdadasal because that's one of the most important decisions na na pwede mong gawin sa buhay mo no your choice of a of a life partner but in terms of Pan mandiligo okay lang sige man pumunta kayo dito sa bahay mandiligo <laughs> no, I'm I'll have dinner with you I'll I'll cook I'll prepare I, I won't cook because I can't cook I'll prepare dinner for you. I like knowing her her community of friends yeah, that's great magandang payo sa ating mga nakikinig you know 
wag masyadong stricto sa kanila mga nanibigaw. So, what has kept you busy this uh, yeah, past I'm month and aside from <laughs> work? Alam mo, yung ano, yung my my way to cope with stress because I found I found na yung sa simula it was a very anxious time. Can you imagine from from total freedom for all of us sudden restriction and the restriction was not just because of um some like peace issue it's really a it's a health issue and it's a life and death uh situation so um i had to but it's an interior struggle it's an interior storm sometimes because i'm sure you can relate to susan no na pag public servant ka, you never just think of yourself and your immediate family you have a whole like in my case a whole district yeah. in your case a whole province to be uh, responsible of so i found comfort i found uh, joy in doing my my arts and crafts i picked up arts where, app. yes i picked up where yes. i left, where i left off marami yes ako, oh marami ako mga little projects here at home sa ating mga nakikinig baka hindi niyo alam si uh, Kong Lucy is a very uh, skillful sewer she has a lot of these little projects they're so cute and fabulous na no? soon siguro you'll put it na in the market yung mga pillows ay huh? hindi kasi i don't know i don't know how i know i don't know how i can how i can sew so many pillows you yeah, actually i actually bought a sewing machine would you believe but it intimidates me it's It's just a box staring at me. Uh, I really like working pa rin with my with my hands. So nagsimula ako sa mga little projects, no? I did a little home renovations, I repainted rooms and then I had little houses built for the animals. Yeah, so, they're so cute. <laughs> I'm copy I'm copying them, the chicken houses. Yes, yes, you, it's it's na, it's nakakatuwa and they really use it pag naglumlum na sila, lumlum meaning They're nesting their, their, their eggs. Yeah. Uh oh. So it's happy it's, homes for the chicken. Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Kong, and dami daming questions flooded tayo, di ba? <laughs> Everyone's saying you're, of course, you're so beautiful and pretty. Like I said, now you you look so dewy and um, also happy today. Ano ba daw ang uh, skin routine mo? My skin routine. Alam mo during lockdown, nagano talaga ako. Parang a whole year na walang wala pa sudden pwede kang walang makeup kasi hindi naman type po, hindi na type mo mapasok, 'di ba? And then palaging naka a mask. Ah, uh, na, nakukulog yung skin pag palaging naka mask. So I would advise because we, we're all on the same boat and anyway, we palagi tayong naka mask to keep your makeup as light as possible kasi nagaano eh, nag we steam in our own Yeah. <laughs> we're uh, we steam in our nagka-clog siya ng pores. Um, that said, it's important or it's probably the best time now to really invest in a good skincare regimen more than just buying makeup to cover uh, to cover um, imperfections or skin flaws. So let the skin breathe and I find also na what you eat matters. My direct relation talaga and the stress level. When I'm stressed, I really break out. I break out, or when I your beautiful there's no mark on your beautiful skin that you break out. I because I've learned to cope, uh, Gulf Susan through the through the whole pandemic. Also, ang dami ko rin natutunan ng mga stress busters. I have I've learned to really meditate. I've learned to take uh, time off. Yung parang wala na tayong vacation eh. You can't say oh I'll take time yeah. off for a week. Yeah. Walang ganon. So you take time of 15 minutes a day. I go to a to a corner and just unplug. Say I won't think of anything stressful for 15 minutes, and that gives me a. Parang wala lang siya, no? But it actually yeah, gives a second wind. Yung para para ana lang, para para ana lang talaga. A recharge, no? Oh 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 oh. Yun lang. And then, do you uh, do yoga? I do yoga. I do yoga. I do qigong. I love it. It's what's a, that? What's qigong? Ani yung qigong? Qigong is like a it's like a series of movements. Parang our very quickly lang our body is uh, parang there are 12 meridians and when you do qigong it balances all the 12 uh, meridians of your body. Kasi susunod nag-aral din ako ng ano traditional Chinese medicine. 
<laughs> during the during the lockdown and yeah as a qigong she's chinese it's chinese it's actually not part of our um it's actually not part of our class of our traditional chinese medicine class i mm-hmm. found qigong first before i enrolled in traditional chinese medicine but i like qigong because uh you know it's known as the art of effortless power akala wow. mo, oh yeah akala mo wala lang but when you do it regularly enough you feel a difference in how you feel in your energy level and in how you manage stress so I, that's a, that's a, what I'll google right after this qigong yeah, it's very that fast. Yata. <laughs> I'll, 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 i'll send you the links but uh, they, you can go to youtube and then there are so many sessions there for for qigong just just so you get a feel of it and you see if it's something you like okay, so what sure. tips Yeah, what tips can we give sa ating mga nanay while being stranded at home? Ay, ang daming ano, parang there there is no reason and no time to be bored. Yeah. Um Uh-oh. find your find your joy, whatever that is. For other people like for Richard, it's cooking. For Juliana, it's baking. For me, because I I can't cook or I don't really <laughs> enjoy I don't really enjoy cooking. I I like setting the table i like i like making new time special parang wala nang wala nang ano ah wala nang distinction na yon sa special days every day every day is special i look forward to meal time i i set the table nicely and then um i have all these little arts and crafts i i sew i i make, make well- things beautiful yes I say I will make things beautiful. That will be my life. So I'll make every corner of the yeah. home, of the home, beautiful. And I have a pet pig, called Susan. My pet ah. pig is Hamlet. Hamlet. Yes. Not the loob ng house, Kong Lucy. He roams yes, around the house. Yes, our 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 animals. We have ano nagsimula lang yun sa dalawang turtles. Richard started with two turtles and every time I'd come home he'd introduce me to new animals so in turtles nagkaroon ng friends na chickens in chickens nagkaroon ng turkeys in turkeys nagkaroon ng ng gangsa and then now we have nga we have the dog the dogs and then we have um Hamlet and they all are friends because before we welcome a new animal into the home pinapakilala namin sila there's a break in there's a break in process para magkasundo sila and our, the setup kasi in our home hindi siya yung bahay na typical in Manila dito it's like units na open so we have a lanai they roam freely our living room is an open space also yung rooms lang yung may may pinto so when i'm reading hindi na gaaway <laughs> but when I'm reading or when I'm doing yoga or listening to music, they're beside me. The chickens, the the pig, Hamlet. Nagme uh, meditate. Uh, <laughs> yes, Alexander. Napanatig ko pag nagme meditate ako sa I listen to singing singing bowls or I listen to nice music. He snores beside me. They're like people talaga. Nakakatuwa. Yeah. So the, uh, your aura uh, is uh, spread out to you, even to your pet animals, no? <laughs> yes, yes. Ano. <laughs> Ang ganda ng aura, yes. Um, <laughs> mong, <laughs> so, mahirap ba to mix being a mother and a politician for you? Uh, wala naman tayong ano, Gov Susan, wala tayong, wala tayong switch off, di ba? As a mother, you're a mother 24/7. Even as you are governor or you are a Siam Congresswoman, para even as we we fulfill our roles when our daughters need us, when uh, even when the helpers need us, because we are still homekeepers, we have to make sure na yeah. the household is running. Para you're always thinking on your feet. And in terms of juggling, I say whatever needs immediate attention at the moment. So pag nakazoom yeah. ka yung congresswoman or your governor, once it's off, papabili mo yung ilang bilhin for the house to keep the household running to make sure that there will be dinner tonight. So ganon lang juggling of constant juggling of course. Do you go to the grocery or the market? You do that. 
not so much. It's really Richard who, who yeah, likes he's to the chef. <laughs> yeah. Oh, ako I go just to ano sama sama lang, but the 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 real uh, buying the grocery and choosing what to buy sila yani Juliana. What's your favorite Kaili? food? Anong ulam sa ano? Anong pagkain sa late? So or mo? I mean, what's your staple? Diba, like kunyari sa Bicol, merong Bicol Express, mga ganun. Dito wala. Our lechon though is very good. Yung lechon namin dito, we don't eat it with Mang Tomas. Sag, kasi sag. na, na oh. Oh, oh, dito suka. Ah, Sinasaw suka? Sa, hmm. And then yung oh, okay. go cavity ng, yung chan talaga ng, ng pig or ng pork, it's uh, nakapasok dun tanlad. So it's very, it's very tasty. Uh, the usual, we have here different kinds of adobo, depende sa bahay. May wet adobo, may dry adobo. Uh, we have here, pinya talaga. Pinya is our, pinya is our star product. Mas sarap talaga yung pinya. Pinya in Leyte? The queen oh, pine. Okay. Yeah. Papadala ka? Or, or mock, specific. <laughs> <laughs> it's small oh, and you can I've can never eat. heard that. Really? That's new. You've never, huh? You've never? Oh, oh, I've never heard. Parang I didn't realize or mock or late. It's known for piña. Diba? Or mock. Kasi or dito, Tagaytay or Bukid non. Yeah, or mock pineapples are, are one of the best. And you can, it's so sweet. You can eat, eat even the, the stalk, the middle part. So, sa ating mga kababayan, wag po natin i-miss yung chance na manalo ng snail white care products. By doing the steps, syempre po, share and comment po tayo dito sa ating live stream. Yan, snail white, I'm sure, kung Lucy uses it, no? I remember yes. you asking me before have, if I've used snail white. Nagpapahanap ka pa yata no? sa Japan or, or Korea ng snail white. Uh-huh. When oh, we were <laughs> yes, yes. It's actually a no. It's a. It's light enough. Because for for the longest time, it, it's like an aha moment for me. Because for the longest time, I thought moisturizer was kalaban talaga ng ng skin. But as you get older, you need moisturizer. But humid na yung lugar natin, so we need a light one. Yeah, snail white is good. I've never tried. I should try it. No, to that, get that yeah. dewy effect you have. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Try it. It's good. So, after the uh, after this live ends, um, and um, kung may mga katanung mga patandame, puro siyempre beauty skincare products and the beauty regimen ang tanong sa yung kong Lucy. <laughs> uh, everybody, of course, wants to be you. You know how you manage to be always uh, glowing and happy, and that. Flawless white skin. <laughs> also, ano, um, for me, it's really finding uh, an exercise regimen that you like enough to actually stick to. Because uh, what works for one doesn't necessarily work for all. Eh. Like, ako, I can't do yung mga hit exercises, yung mga high impact. Nalulusaw ako. I really like the more Zen types. That's why I gravitate towards the the yoga or the the qigong. Mm-hmm. And I find that it's really just finding what what works for you. Because if you don't enjoy it, if it's a if you feel like it's punishment, you cannot sustain it. Then should it? Oh, oh, oh. oh. I agree. I agree with that. If you, it should be something that you enjoy doing. Yeah. Do you still dive? Oh. Do you still get to dive? Yes. Ah, yes. see? oh yeah, and that's your joy. Ako, I'll, I'll be, I wouldn't know the first thing about diving. <laughs> Me naman, I like more parang high impact sports. Yes. So yeah, you biking, bike. running, swimming. Uh-oh. But I also enjoy yoga and quiet time. Yung ganyan. Mm-hmm. Kuminsan naka, natutulog, nakakatulog ako sa yoga. <laughs> <laughs> that is your body telling you you need it siguro for the day. Uh-oh. Ako, what yes. Oh, oh. gives you, ano, whatever gives you joy because happiness is so underrated. Parang we've been taught to live a life of more, more, more of suffering, suffering, and we glamorize yung uh, busyness, yeah. yung pagod, yung walang tulog, and then 
all of a sudden mm-hmm. the pandemic happened and you realize wait, wait this is how this is how life should be yeah a balance of everything so true no mm-hmm. that's why i think um it's a calling to really create that balance masyadong nag fast forward ang industrialization and ang population so uh-huh. it's a way of saying hey slow down siguro no nature's way of telling us to slow down ito rin para sa mga yes. nanay ha sa mga nanay because uh, if you notice a lot of people have um digest digestive problems yeah. or digestion problems in my acid reflux i want to share something lang that i learned in traditional chinese medicine class and then they say na a lot of our problems about gut health yung parang palagi kang nag-acid reflux or uh, you feel bloated or may indigestion ka it's because we do not eat mindfully by changing just yes. that by not rushing through meals daw we actually because meal time daw should be a time of nourishment and di ba pag meal time tayo ngayon we're always reading reading something trying to finish paperwork and just chomping a a sandwich but when we sit down down to a meal and you honor it as a time to nourish your body your digestion will be better and your your health will be better so you I walk- totally agree the ba- I had my um, semi parang checkup last week mm. and the uh, doctor said that um, you're rushing your meals So you have to sit down and enjoy. It really, um, it my, it yeah, really yeah. Mm. If there's any organ in my body, ang nahihirapan yung digestive system ko because I'm rushing my meal. Eh, kasi you're in between meetings, so you, the body just chomp it and then next to the move to the next. But oh. ang, ang talagang suggestion, no, you take your time. Mindful to eat. Now. And then. I don't know if you agree with this, uh, Dr. Susan, but paka the others lang can learn also from it. Sabi nila, or sabi sa, sa mga sa Chinese medicine, walk down to take anything cold, especially with your meals. Yes. It 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 stops yes. the digestion. Down. So better you eat first, and then a few minutes after eating, then you take something hot. The way the Japanese or the Chinese do, and it will help them out. With digestion, so yun. Very true, very true. Eta yon Filipinos kasi sa nai kumakain and then drinking cold coke or cold water, mm-hmm. which is not good. Uh-oh. Which is not good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So, since we're talking about food, what is your favorite dish na niluluto ni uh, Mayor Richard? Favorite dish, ang dami eh. Kasi ang gusto ko lang talaga. You tell him oh, what I- you want. Yes, you know what I do? I find something on Instagram, uh, like a recipe I like, and then I DM it to to him or Juliana, and then we copy it. Like last night, I I DM'd him. Um, parang paper lang siya cooked in parchment paper. I mean paper fish cooked in parchment paper, and then it steams inside in its own juices. You put uh, lemon slices and orange slices and olive oil and cape. Right? Ah. It's good, yeah. 15 they call minutes it, lang. They call it, yeah. They call mm. it en papillot, di ba? In, in yes, French. Yes, that, <laughs> yes, yes, that one, that one. But it's so good. It's just a uh, white oh. fish. And in 15 minutes, uh, it was done. And then, his carbonara is also very good. His carbonara is such, it's, so, up, it's up in his uh, YouTube channel. It's such na, if you copy it as is, No fail, and I've had none cooks, uh, friends of mine who are like me, na cannot cook and they just copied it. The ones who stay in the states, ganon. It's ano daw, foolproof. Foolproof. And I like. Ha? And I like. I look proof. into that. Yeah. <laughs> me, I don't good. get. I used to cook eh, but not anymore since I got into public service. Oh, okay. Oh. Ano yan, Dr. Susan? Nagbabaon ka ng, ano, ng food going to going to your uh, office or... Kasi di ba, that's how you're able to, to, to be mindful of no. the food you eat. Eh. Pag walang choice, then you just you just eat whatever is readily available. But pag nagbabaon ka, then you can have your healthier meals. Nagbabaon ka? Yes. Rarely. So it's always take out. So, but... um. 
In the morning kasi I'm a juicer eh. I do vegetable and ano, fruit ano juicing. Ano yung morning juice mo? Ano yung morning juice mo? I put everything. Ampalaya, spinach, uh, carrot, How big? Uh, cucumber. How big a big, big glass, 500 ml. So that's, that's my uh, energy. That's my breakfast and energy for the day. Lunch na yung next meal mo. Oh, which is about two o'clock or three. <laughs> Juicing is what time? mga eight. Pa- eight pag na. When I wake up in the morning at eight, coffee Get and juice. Mm. Yeah. So uh, my nutritionist said, since you're always rushing, maybe it's best to juice na lang din your food. <laughs> I just want to add protein, <laughs> protein daw, so soy. So, ah, to add it to your, ano, to your mix. Pero yung, yung, yung juice yeah. is all greens or you add fruits? I add fruits kasi kung di masyadong mapait kung okay. saan, di ba? Ano? Oh, so I add so, apple. Whatever's there, whatever's there, apple, papaya, mango, whatever, pineapple, what, whatever's in the fridge. Mm. Halo-halo. Ako kasi I'm more ma fruits talaga more than more than vegetables. Parang vegetable is a is a need. Pero fruits it's a desire. It's a want. <laughs> it's a want. Mix uh, it together so ano ando na lahat. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll I'll ano, yeah. I'll try to mix it. <laughs> so how have you been busy aside from work and um between Zoom meetings and your arts and crafts and family time, diba? There are things that, um, what more would you like to achieve as a, uh, as a public servant? I really like to, ano, I'd really like to, my passion talaga has always been um, developing the countryside. So I want the women in the countryside to have some sort, some sort of livelihood. And hindi yung, they get into some livelihood because it's lucrative. It has to be something they love to do and then it becomes a source of income. Because uh, I noticed here when, when I was very new and I'd go around the district, no? Kunyari, may isang success story ng Lechon Manok. Everybody wants Lechon Manok. Or kung, kunyari, may housewife oh. na nagpigiri. Everybody in the barangay wants to do a, a piggery also. And I always remind them that you nurture your own gifts. That's why um, I'm strengthening the livelihood programs here for for women. Um, we gave them sewing machines. We're getting trainers, and then we're helping them really. Na the products, their output, hindi yung pang pity buy. Golf susan kasi sa trabaho natin, marami tayong pity buys. Aminin na. Uh, yes. so, <laughs> bibili ka lang para magkaroon sila ng income, pero. Uh, the quality is not so good na hindi mo rin maibibigay kasi nakakahiya na ipamigay mo as a, as a gift. So, tinatago mo na lang, di ba? And then by the, the next time you see it, wala na nawang-wang na siya. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I, I always tell them na dapat their output is always parang almost export quality because what we want are repeat customers for them. Para to take pride in the work of their hands, so that is my that is what I'm starting really to to strengthen here in the in the district and in our mock specifically. We did that, uh, Kong Lucy. I mentored twelve of my SM, um, MSMEs and um, to improve their quality. Kasi nga nung una ganon ano to masadong pang handicrafting local oh. use. So I had them trained, pinutukan namin, and then I brought them to international trade fairs. You're kidding so, me. Yeah. So yeah. So we've joined the Japan Trade Fair in ano uh, pa? What pa? were what were the products that they So 12 SMA. I'm sure iba-iba yung products nila. What were yes. what are some okay. of them? Um yung uh, lanterns namin out of kapis. Okay. Now she's a major exporter already. Even in the pandemic, she was so happy because she got orders from Hawaii and from Australia. We also have wood making and um, furniture, pottery, a lot of pottery. Um, uh, yung, uh, what do you call this? Knitting, macrame, macrame and crochet. Yeah. 
macrame and crochet. We also have, uh, what's that? Uh, juices, diba? We joined oh, Agri Fair. Yeah. Agri Trade Fairs you, in. How long did you mentor all 12? Three years. Ah, so from. So three, yeah. To packaging, to branding, and to yes. product expansion, development, you know, and What then, really helped is when I brought them abroad. Para na compare nila yung products nila, oh, diba? No. Oh, hindi po ading oh. Alam so, mo, I tried ko din yon during the pandemic of Susan because um I was renovating, de ba? Pero mm-hmm. back then when I would renovate, siguro the fastest would be to bring in some people from Manila, kasi hasana sila and they know. Yeah. But this time, I couldn't do that kasi lockdown. Our borders were locked down. It's mm-hmm. it so dangerous to bring in people, de ba? So I Correct. Had Work with the local artisans, and then oh, it is. It was so ano. Uh, it was so much fun because um, we had blacksmiths. Na I did not know. Meron pala we had uh, very good skilled workers who could do woodworks, yung mm-hmm. uh, carving, and then yeah, it, it was really just a matter of fine tuning what they already yes. what they already. But they already knew. So, nakakatuwa. Nakakatuwa. Yung disa- maraming magagaling all over the country, I'm sure. Um, in just harnessing and improving. Tweaking lang konti yung designs nila. Di ba? Size. Kasi nung, when I first brought them to Japan, they were bringing very heavy and huge items na hindi naman pwede for Japan. Kasi oh, ma-earthquake yun. Okay. <laughs> so, very compact. Their spaces, no? Yes. Oh. Uh, so we had we had to resi- redesign the items to suit the homes. So oh. go on and then um, when we took them to Frankfurt before the lockdown, they've they've got a lot of repeat orders and really nice from stone. Kasi marami kami dito bato. They're making them into soap dishes and other uses. So nice. I'm ano sure yung mga ha? ano bato niyo? Ano yung bato niyo dyan? yung mga sa river river stones a ah, river stones and then what yeah. it's ano it's cured and molded into other Minahasa shapes nila. they 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 have a machine to reform them and everything but uh, the exposure really? abroad um, we invested the provincial government invested to get them a space dun sa beside site them so we joined the for the uh, trade fair uh, yeah, at Tarlac booth. I'm sure you'll do Even that kasi. Hopefully, hopefully, maker here ng ano, yung mga, parang instead of copies, it's made of fiberglass. The, oh. the lights, the trees. Yes. Alam mo, things that I would never have otherwise discovered if the pandemic did not, did not happen. A lot of talents came out, na? Maraming plantitos, plantita. Are you a plantito, plantita rin? Plantita. Kaya ko nakakabuhay ng halaman. <laughs> <laughs> pero I love, I love, I love plants. Pero parang I would, I would never know how much water to put. It's like cooking. I'll never know how much salt to put in. When they say a pinch of, a pinch of salt. But another thing, pala that uh, Richard did here that um, you're probably also doing in 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 Tarlac, no, is giving the local um, artists, the painters. Uh, uh, a venue to display their work. So there's an old building here that Richard turned into a museum. Wow. Yeah. And the, the local artists can display because the, the other floors hold the serious artwork, but there's a space dedicated just for the local artists para lang they can display their works and sell their works. And then before the pandemic, dinala rin ni Richard dito sila uh, Manumulong, Galicano, the, oh yes, to mentor the to mentor the local artists. So it has also um, improved the quality of their of their art, the quality yes. of their work, and as such, they are able to command better prices. Oh, that's very nice. The painting behind me is uh, by a local artist. So I've also been um, promoting them, and we have an annual national painting contest. Oh. But this one from all over the country, they bring in every oh. March um, a lot. La- last March, we had over 200 entries, maski pandemic siya, ha? Ano yun, naka-online kayo? 
online and then um na choose na namin yung top 20 it sent to us and uh, because so, you notice pag ma, when times are hard we all gravitate towards what is beautiful whatever that means for us so that's why people are decorating their own spaces that's why they're baking yes baking bread but anything that gives you pleasure is a cushion for the yeah. hard parts of life yes the creativity came out a lot yeah. of creativity came out this pandemic so yan mga local artists yan the one behind yes. ay how nice how nice at, at the bag of susan pag pag local leader ka Ikaw talaga yung model ng lahat. Para in the pandemic, nahawakan ko na lahat. Sabon, <laughs> uh, a painting, or face shield. Kung anong binibenta ah, ng face shield. Yeah. Bangus. Wala nang distinction. Basta, basta maka, makatulong ka sa pag ano. Yes. Um, ang dami nilang naging entrepreneurs in their own way. Diba? They become ano. So, assisting, parang nag-set up din kami ng local naming uh, grab or delivery service. No? So, for Meron the din. products. Oo. <laughs> parang we call it e-buy. So, if you want um, errands to be done, magbabayad for the seniors that can't go out. They can pay their electricity bill through uh-huh. the, that service. Or, and I yun, know, papabili. Province, province. 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 Oh, yeah. Parang subsidized, halos. Um, yes. Oh, you, so you they just pay a fee of 50. Yeah. They just oh. put uh they just pay 50 pesos for delivery or for ano. Uh-uh. Diba? Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Please don't forget to like and share our uh, live uh, our kapehan sa Tarlac para po ah, manalo ng ating beautiful snail white products. Shana. Are you into K-drama? You know, I really only saw Crash Landing on You and uh, <laughs> Descendants of the Sun. Uh, yung palang. Are you watching? <laughs> what are you watching? Oh my God. Vincent. So my, and, well, I finished that too. Practically everything. So, oh, my, my friends. My friends turned me on after the holidays. You watch, you watch. Sabi ko, why do you want to watch that, mga fully cosmeticized men, di ba? <laughs> really? <laughs> Bakit yan? Then sabi nila, no, no. And then I start, I, first one nga was crash landing. Wala na from then on. Oh, di ba? Every, every, oh, oh. Kilig na kilig so, din. Eh, Kumbila siya sa bensa. Puni mo. Palengke, di ba? Pero anong, oh, anong maganda, Susan? Anong maganda na K-drama? I've only seen those two, eh. The historical ones are nice, di ba? Yeah. Um, Guardian is nice. Guardian. Yung, uh, the Goblin, yeah. And then there's um, one I like, One Spring Night. Story kasi to ng elderly woman who, fa- who falls in <laughs> love with um, his brother's best friend. Something is something in the rain yan. Ayun, something in the rain. Yeah. Oh, see, you know? <laughs> Sino yan? Kaninong kagagawan yan? <laughs> <laughs> Pang happy moments ko dito sa office. <laughs> oh, ang cute niya talaga. Yeah, something in the rain was nice. Even the ano, even the soundtrack, no? Yes, yes. I that. Yeah. I love that. Maganda yung soundtrack niya. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, that's why I like it. Uh-oh. Ano pa? Ano pa? Guardian was nice. Um, startup. 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 Ite nice. one ka, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Start up is nice. I'll, I know. I'll check. It's okay not to be okay. Ganda? Yeah. Mm, dami ha. Sige. Hinihintay ko kasi yung ano eh. Hinihintay ko yung Pero, homeland. Wala eh. Tagal-tagal. There's series kasi so. Tagal. Series 1, 2, 3. Yeah. Tapos ko na rin yeah, yung eye ko. Okay lang. Yung? Fauda. Have you seen Fauda? No, no, no. Nice. Gusto ko kasi yung mayroon para mga CIA. Yeah. I think I started it. Homeland din. It's like Homeland. That's why when I when I go around the district or when I'm here at 
home and then I look at the ano, and I say, honey, that is a security weakness. This is a security <laughs> And then he says, he says, what have you been watching again? What have you been watching again? <laughs> <laughs> How nice am I, Susan, everything that you're doing there. That's what I want for ano, every every municipality in in the country to have that kind of ano ba to take pride in whatever their local product is and dapat iba iba talaga if for yeah. some it's cooking or it's bottle products for another it's handicrafts it's been a challenge for us here in Tarlac kasi kami landlock and like you you have this you have a lot of seas you're surrounded by the sea so seafood and you know beach is a natural tourist attraction pero here and uh, with Pampanga and Bulacan, they're so advanced with their arty crafts already, oh, no? Oh. Parang ketchup uh, has been a challenge. But um, it's good. Yeah, I'm so happy. Oh, because uh, immediately yung peg nyo is high because established na sila eh. So yung, oh. oh. Minsan ganun lang naman talaga yun. But how oh, nice the way it's, ano, the way it's uh, thriving there. These are not just women, no? It's, Yung sa, ano mo, sa the mostly the mostly the entrepreneurs are women. Really? I'd say ninety percent are women. Yeah, the entrepreneurs. Um, I'm so happy. The yung men isa namin lantern maker, oh. na lantern maker in Herona. She was just working out of a shed. Ngayon nagpatayu oh. na ng building. Yeah, oh, see. three years. Ah, oh, nakakatuwa. So. Um, we just need to push and guide them, and with your skill, uh, your eye on uh, beautiful things, I'm sure the people of our Ormoc are happy. They're very fortunate to have you, no? Na mag guide sila. Kasi, what I notice is they do not even know their potential. Parang they yes. have a skill, and like dito, we I had a I had a manang here before who could crochet anything, like a whole window she can crochet. She can crochet easily habang nanonood ng teleserye. And then, she did not know na it's anything handmade and anything of the quality that she she made can actually command so much. Sabi niya, yes. meron pala to. Eh, it's something though that she did even before because her mother, her own mother also taught her. So, it's really opening their eyes to, to possibilities and potential. Kong Lucy, hmm. how's, my, how's the ilang-ilang I sent you? Hi, it's lovely. You know, we have a... Uh, yes, hindi nila alam yun na ano. Uh, I, I, tell them about your nursery. Do, not many people know that you have a nursery of all the indigenous, no? Uh, trying to... Yes, we're trying to expand yung mga indigenous and native trees. Pero sa ating mga kababayan who doesn't know, no? Si uh, Kong Lucy, she loves ilang-ilang. So she ordered thousands. <laughs> thousands of thousands of ilang ilang. <laughs> planted it in one place lang, uh, Gov Susan. Um, hopefully, because what I what I want son is for the people here to be able to to um, extract the oil, extract the oil, and then make it into make it into products. Yes, it's, it's such a beautiful. We have some here at home, and then at night, ang bango bango. Parang it it it. It feels like such a gift while you're taking your tea at night and then naaamoy uh, mo yung ilang-ilang. And then uh, there are so many things that we can do with ilang-ilang. I know that some of the best perfumes in France um, yes. actually have ilang-ilang as the as the essential scent. No? So, wala pa, ka, wala pa kami doon sa point na pwede nang mag-disip. Pinapropagate muna namin para there will be enough supply. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maraming potential ilang ilang, and it's so ex it's such an expensive oil. We need to have more, diba? And the scent is so royal. Parang, parang how nice. And then it's it's actually one of our own. It's it's our own. Mm -hmm. it grows. It, it grows. It's really our own. Pero yeah. patented by France by Yun Chanel na. na. <laughs> Yun na I don't know if it's a, yeah. Yeah. Yun pa, ano pa ba yung pa? And then. Uh, banig. The banig that uh, we grew up with, na wala lang, is, is, wala. Gain, is gaining new life. Like every time I'm up in the mountainside or in the beach and then I post photos 
And then, na nasa banig kami, I always get DMs and questions of, saan nabibili yung banig? Kaya I say, everywhere. It's easily available here in the in the Leyte and summer area. I don't know with you there. Do you have banig there? Or you, you buy it? Uh, here, none. Wala kang weaving. That's one of my frustrations to have a weaving um, industry. Uh-huh. So, not much, no? Bamboo. We have a few of bamboo, pero ginagawan sa wali. Pinaparefine namin para mas maganda. But uh, nice, the banig. You have that, and you have this huge banig. It's beautiful. Pinakita mo sa inyo. It's actually several that I... Uh, patong. Yeah, I don't have one. My dream is to have one that's really, really big and can fit a, a family of 10 or 12. Wala pang gumagawa ng ganun kalaki. So I just buy several and then pinag, pinagtapagkita. Yeah. Yeah. Banigs are beautiful. That should be marketed more. You know? Yan ang, yan ang gusto ngayon. Natural products by, yes. ano, by international communities. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. So what's, what's banig made of? Some leaf, di ba? Some, I don't know what, what, what leaf exactly. But I know hindi yung pang puso, ha? Alam mo yung puso? Ano yung puso? Yung hanging ano yung puso? Rice, hindi yun. <laughs> Yung hanging rice. Ah, hindi. Hindi pa parang grass? Anahaw? It's not anahaw. Yes, parang ganun. So, Uh-oh. ito yung ginagamit ng puso. Kasi somebody asked me kung yung sa puso daw, yun din, wa, yun din, yun din daw ba yung sa banig? So, <laughs> hindi. <laughs> hindi naman. It's it's dried na yung sa banig. And then there are... Ano um, yung puso? Puso? Is ha- You've never had puso? Gov Susan? No. Ha- puso ng saging? No, no, no. Puso, <laughs> puso is a... Uh, in Cebu, you weave into a little basket this um, um, palwa ng, ng coconut, coconut leaves. Coconut leaves. <laughs> and, then it, and then you put the rice and you cook it. Ah, so when okay. You eat it, it's compact. It's like the sushi sa Japan. Uh-oh. That's sa, nice. Ang ganda no, na. That's how we eat, ano, that's how we eat uh, puso in, in Cebu and the Visayas. And here also in some parts of Leyte, we have mga yayas and, and um, mga farmhands who know how to, how to make the puso. Re- reusable yan? Ay, hindi. Kasi uh, once, you, once you cook it, the only way to open it is, is to slice it in half. And then you have this triangle of rice na instead of eating it with a spoon, pwede kang nakakamay. So, kunyara, you eat lechon, gaganong ka ng isda or lechon, and then you just bite into the rice. It's compact. Hindi mo na, pang, pang ano siya talaga, pang picnic. Maganda yun, ah. Kami here, wrapped in banana leaves. Pwede, the pero buha, buha, Pero ha- you can, ha- yeah. Hindi kayang iluto doon, di ba? So, oh. parang cooked rice na you just wrap it. Oh, eto talaga yung hilaw na rice nilalagay dun sa leaf and then dun na siya dun na siya naluluto. So when it's cooked, it takes the shape of your of your leaf of that little pocket. Saya. <laughs> Don't forget to like and comment on our uh, feed, no? Para to win your snail white snail white products at parang ating mga kutis kasi ang ganda nung kay Kong Lucy. <laughs> I love your program at merong ano, merong merong paraffle. <laughs> I think and from sa so ano mo yon eh from your um sponsor. <laughs> but, it, but it's nice. It's nice na may ganun kasi every every bit of every bit of joy that we can have. Yeah. Oh. For, especially for Mother's Day, diba? Now dito, I think the women are very ano skin conscious. Oo. Oo. Mahi- you know, I also mahilig know, magpaputi. <laughs> pag nag-iikot ako, I don't know if it's the same for you, Cop Susan, but pag nag-iikot ako, I notice uh, the lolas, the ones who work the lands, magaganda yung skin nila. They say kasi that sun is bad for the skin, di ba? But I think because they work so early in the morning, yeah, really good sun that they get, and then I see lolas na their their cheeks are naturally 
naturally rosy and and pink yes oh kasi napansin ko pag nag nung nagko congress pa tayo when we did not have um so much time to be outdoors kasi palaging aircon hindi ba ang lamig lamig yeah lamig. it's so dry yeah it it dries the skin but when your skin is able to to breathe and sweat napapansin ko talaga yung mga lola they're old na they have lines pero dito ano sila yung it, it's plump and it's smooth ang lines nila dito lang sa dito lang sa gilid ng mata hindi yung deep lines na sabi nila sun damage hindi ko Wala. na mm, hindi ko na napansin yun with the lolas kasi sila pa araw natural hindi <laughs> oh, na takot sa araw naturally beauty sa late ang mga taga ormo I should go visit <laughs> there ha huh? yes <laughs> get to get the secret when okay. times are gentler, oh. you, you come and 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 I also want to go to Tarlac and then uh, look at all the livelihood communities that you've nurtured mm-hmm. so that I can I can copy the best practices and bring it bring it back home and help in our women. So this is your fourth term as Congresswoman, Kong Lucy. Yes. Pa? Four, four straight terms. <laughs> That's a uh, um, that's a rare and unique no, <laughs> from the 15th to the 18th. So, yeah. what are your plans for 2022? Well, I'm I'm praying about it, no. Um, like I say, none of what I have now in terms of a political career and none of where I am now in terms of a of a political career was ever part of a grand road of a grand plan or a road map I wasn't following. Parang basically this is just how my my life unfolded. I'm really yeah. moving like water now. I'm um, exploring possibilities, looking at options and I hope that by October come filing I will be able to make the I will be able to make the, the right choice. So I'm, I'm sure I'm sure you will with your good heart. Mm-hmm. And um, true compassionate love for the people, um, you yeah, will be guided. Uh, the reason why, parang di ba, they always say when we talk, when we talk, when we have our regular dinners, we talk about everything that's hard about the work that we do, and yet every every election we fight because we know that even as we know and accept that there are hard parts. The beautiful parts are also very, very beautiful and purposeful, and I think that's what, that's what keeps us, uh, that's what keeps us going. Oh yeah, yeah. Yes. Knowing that our work is purposeful and um, how it is able to help so many, many people. Because and Richard was the one who really pointed this out to me, no? Because many people say, "Bakit pa kayo kailangan magpolitika? Bakit kailangan yung tumakbo for a position? Eh, pwede naman kayong tumulong in your own way, and that's true." That's true. You can help in your own way, but if as a private citizen or even as a big businessman, you are able to help only up to a certain degree, maybe one barangay, maybe one municipality, but what position yeah. government will allow you to help a whole province? Governor. Yes. Diba? Uh, a whole district. Yeah. We, what position will be able to help you, will allow you to help a whole district? Congress. Because, uh, even if the funds do not come from us, which what which is what will happen on a personal or a private capacity, as elected officials, we are able to tap into the resources of the government and make it trickle down to the to the people. And when you yeah. use that power well, it is life changing for so many on the ground. Mm-mm. Yeah, must must expansive in reach, and then um, and you mix it that with the true and compassionate service. It will really aabot, no? No one's going to be left behind. As a mother, ibaya yung touch, di ba? As a woman and a mother, you know the daily concerns. Uh, yung yes. araw-araw na dinadaan na ng isang ina, no? As a ang mother kasi, hindi lang rearing up the children, budgeting, di ba? All of that. And mas parang... Home pa. Oo. Mm-hmm. And, um... We think long term, because for the future of our children. Yes, and 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 I, I think also that by empowering mothers, by empowering mothers to be able to 
um, have some sort of augmented income, no? even as they work from home, it's actually a, a gift to the family because so many families are yes. fragmented. Alam mo, they have to go abroad because the opportunities there are, are better. But hindi rin pwedeng mawala yung nanay sa, sa bahay kasi they have children to take care of, a home to keep and to keep running. So, if yes. she can work from home, diba? Kunyari, as she prepares dinner, if she has some skill na pwede niyang pagkakitaan, yeah. then that's that's good. That's a, that's a good thing. Yes, no? Kung Lucy, I just want to make mention and shout out to uh, maraming viewers who are saying, of course, you're very, very pretty and they're very happy that you joined us today. Uh, kasama ka namin ngayon sa Tarlac. And dito si uh, Len Taparong. Hi, Len. Si uh, Nathaniel Tabog saying that um, papano ka daw nagpapalibang kahit nasa bahay ka lang. Ay, hindi talaga ako nabubo. Lucy, Kong Lucy is discussed. Hindi ka nabubor. Maraming gagawin. I know you put mask everywhere and always renovating the house. Yes. Diba? Oh, Janeline Mariari also says, Wow, you're very pretty and intelligent, Kong Lucy. Um, <laughs> Shani Altea says, um, yon, Paano ba natin pinagsasabay ang giging, pagiging nanay at, at isang public servant? Um, hindi po ba mahirap? Mahirap. But um, as if we're committed to both our work, 24-7 nga, sabi ni Kong Lucy, that we're always a mother and a public servant. Ako hindi lang nanay, lola na. <laughs> Oy, but that is now, that is now uh, yes. a joy to be a lola because oh, uh, yeah. you don't have the responsibility of bringing them up. You can spoil them endlessly. Uh-huh. True, true. But my children, they don't want to leave their children with me kasi daw, after being with me, I defy, binabago ko lahat ng rules. Pagdating sa kanila, nahirapan sila mag-discipline. <laughs> that is But, the um, village of Alona. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, it, it, it's great to be a grandmom. And um, Lucy, Kong Lucy, anything else you'd like to share to, um, you know, Words of wisdom, more words of encouragement to the women of Tarlac. Uh, I, I think we're all um, on the same boat now. No, I think foremost for us is to get through to the other side and climb out of this pandemic alive and in one piece. So, uh, as mothers, we constantly remind our own to be part of uh, the solution and not part of the problem. So, sa, parang. Sanay naman tayo mga nanay na tal- talagang tayo yung tagayaw-yaw, tayo yung nagnanag, do this, do that, do that. So, uh, yeah, just to practice the usual um, safety protocols. And to make every home, as a mother, for every home to be a haven for your for your family. Such that, no matter how humble, it doesn't have to be grand, but for for your home to be a refuge after after a hard day's work. Yeah. Mm-mm. I think the I believe the yung role ng isang ina ngayon no. Um in our cases we've noticed kasi those na na-infect ng COVID, merong nagkakaroon ng counting depression. So, but oh. the mother holds the core ng pamilya to be oh. strong and to uh, 'di ba? Um siya yung nagkukumpas ng bahay whether kasunurin yung mga anak dun sa mga social protocols natin um, and to hold them and to bring the light within the family um, napakahalaga sa ating mga ina uh, and don't forget po magpabakuna na po kayo available oh, okay. na mo, di ba? <laughs> yes. Medyo kuminsan meron pang mga tanong eh, how is the vaccination program pala sa inyo? Kong, no, we have, see? ano, uh, it's really a drive because uh, sa sa unang round of survey, marami ang ayaw. Maybe yes. it's the fear of the unknown. So what uh, Mayor Richard did was um, naka, naka-group siya. So everyday, kunyari, tricycle drivers that will last a whole week, iba-ibang batch because of social distancing. And then there is an exit poll. So pagpasok nila, they sign a form so that we can gauge how many yung willing magpabakuna at hindi. And then the seminar happens. They are told of the benefits, 
um, of the possible yeah. effects and what to expect. And then may exit poll. Then makikita mo na with the right okay. messaging, with the right messaging, the conversion can be very high. Very good. Maganda yon, ah. That's a good thing that um, yeah, you're uh, able to really pinpoint and address yung mga agam-agam ng ating mga kababayan. Oh, oh, oh. and then we're very realistic also when we explain to them because some people think na getting a vaccine is like an anting anting. Na you can go on with life carefree kasi na nabakunahan ka na and we say na it's just yeah. like it's just like having going to war and having a bulletproof vest. Chances are if you get hit you'll survive but it doesn't mean a gun won't be trained at you and that fires won't be shot. Uh oh. Opera. Very true. At least, pag nabakunahan, mas may laban. Ganon. Maganda yon. Maganda yon. Hope I can use that and share that to the people, no? Kasi yeah. convincing pa um, some sectors. Marami pa silang questions. Eh. Marami kasi nagbabasa fake news <laughs> sa oh, FB. You have to filter what really, ano, what you, yeah. what you really. Then I think important also on the on the ano of pakuna engaging lang from the concerns lately no kasi we hear so many stories of unang nabakunahan and then somehow mas nagkaka covid uh, ah. after oh yeah kasi parang parang that's the effect and then we tell them nga, after the first vaccine um please stay home because it really takes full effect only after the the full dose is completed yeah but okay. You're even more vulnerable now after the first, and only uh -oh. Uh -oh, your immunity boost goes up. down. Yeah, yeah, and it only goes up after the after the second, second dose administered. Yeah, so just to level expectations. Thank okay. you, Lucy. Um, thank you, Kong, Lucy. Thank you for gracing. Flowers. Thank you for the flowers. You sent me flowers, and I was so okay. surprised. <laughs> I was so surprised how the flowers found its way from Tarlac to me, but it's downstairs, and I will uh, I will arrange them because that's one of my favorite things to do. Actually, at the start of every week, I have someone go to the market to buy whatever is fresh, and then that is my flowers for the whole week. I arrange wow. in places in different parts of the home, and today, this morning, your flowers arrived. So thank you. I hope it brings you joy, like. Um... How you brought joy today to us here in Tarlac. Thank you, thank you very much, Kong Lucy, ha, for spending this time. I know napaka busy mo, how busy you are with um, all the work in Congress and um, assisting uh, Richard with his work there also and being a mother to Juliana. Say hi to pretty Juliana. Well, 20 I, na, how fast? I know. Huh? I know. 20 na, my gosh. Huh? <laughs> But thank you, thank you for this time. I had so much fun, and uh, it was so nice uh, uh, talking to you and sharing best practices. And I really look forward to visiting Tarlac so that I can see all the livelihood programs that you've nurtured. Itong araw na it's a holiday, so I hope that uh, you stayed with us this full time with Kong Lucy Torres. Muli ang uh, aking tauspusong pasasalamat sa yong Kong Lucy for sharing this moment with us and sharing all the tips to be happy, to be beautiful, and to be compassionate to everyone. No? Um, maraming maraming salamat. You've brought joy once again um, here sa amen sa probinsya ng Tarlac. Hope to see you and you, that you can come and visit soon. Sa ating pong... Lucy, you want to say any? Kong Lucy, anything yeah. you want to say before we say... I just like to say thank you for this time. This is the closest we can get to a to a fellowship. So it's always nice to be with a kindred spirit and I'm very happy to share this morning with uh with you, Gov Susan and the and the people you love and serve. So sa uulitin, sa uulitin. Sa po ng nanood at um nakinig sa ating kapihan, second edition, kapihan sa Tarlac. Maraming maraming salamat. Isha shout out po natin ang mga naging winners ng uh, Snail White Package Program here of Kong Lucy Torres Gomez. And um, thank you one and all. Have a good day. Have a beautiful weekend, coming weekend. Maraming maraming salamat and God bless po sa inyong lahat. <laughs>